This is the compound that is mixed with natural gas or propane in order to make them noticeable. So its aroma may remind you of those gases if you've ever experienced them. While this isn't a common aroma in beer, it is a particularly unpleasant one. Ethane thiol can arise due to poor yeast health and yeast autolysis. It's produced at low levels by certain yeast strains, but detectable levels can be due to yeast stress and death. Ethane thiol is also produced by contamination of anaerobic bacteria such as Pectinatus and Megasphera. To avoid production of this compound, harvest yeast in a timely manner from fermenters and avoid long storage of beer on yeast. In order to avoid contamination, it's very important to clean and sanitize all equipment that will come in contact with beer, starting with the plate heat exchanger and continuing to the final packaged product. Yeast may be acid washed to remove bacterial contamination, but detection of pectinatus or megasphera in yeast may be sufficient reason to discard the yeast batch and work from a newly propagated strain.